What was that? Nick. Okay. And uh, what are we looking at here? We're looking at remote control to Windows running on MacBook Pro inside Parallels Desktop 6. This is the new version of Parallels Desktop that allows to run Windows virtual machines on, on your Mac. So have Windows applications on Mac. And one of the uh, 80 plus features in this new release is the ability to access your Windows applications from your, uh, from your iPhone, uh, iPod Touch and iPad. So what we're showing here is the full access to Windows from your iPad. As you can see, I can, uh, I can do Excel, I can do PowerPoint, I can do Outlook, I can do Internet Explorer, uh, any, actually any Windows application accessible from your iPad. In, in the Internet Explorer I can do even Flash, so I can have access to Flash sites on my iPad. Now when you say you can do Flash, it, you know, what's the speed like? You, you wouldn't want to watch video using Flash here, would you? Uh, more or less. So for example, here is the, uh, if you have a good network connection, then why not? Probably you can run in even video. So for example, this is Parallels mobile video about this application. You can see this more or less works like video. Okay. So it's not 30 frames a second, but it's yeah, 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 but it's viewable. It's more than it's more than two. <laughs> especially if you do it as I told you, if you do oh, it, you can adjust the speed and the quality. If you do it black and white, it will be much more frames per yeah. second. So it works more or less well. And so you know what we're looking at here again is not Windows software running on the iPad. It's Windows software running on a Mac. Yeah, and then and you transmitting it to access it from iPad, iPhone, or iPod. Um, now, of course, there's there's VNC, you know, remote desktop software um, already available. Log me in, uh, Team Viewer, other applications like that. Uh, the difference here is that it it works directly with Parallels. So if you're already using Parallels, it works directly with Parallels. It is incorporated into the application. Second, it's very easy to set up. So what you need when you install Parallels Desktop, you re register the application. You provide your email, password, and you create an account with Parallels. Then you go to preferences and provide the same email and password, connect to the server in the cloud, the Parallels mobile server in the cloud. Then you download Parallels mobile application to your iPad, provide the same email, password, that's it. Your two computers are connected from anywhere. Very easy to set up uh, what we do for all our users with Parallels Desktop on Mac. We try to do as many hassles as possible to get access to your Windows applications. So here you can access, get access, easy access to your Windows applications from iPad. And um, the iPhone iPad software, is it free or is it cost? It's free. Okay, so it's free and Parallels uh, for it's Mac It's a complementary cost. feature of Parallels Desktop. Okay. Of Parallels Desktop 6. Yes. And uh, how much does Parallels 6 cost? Uh, $79.99. Okay, so for $80 you can use the software and if you have an Apple iOS device, you get that as a free yep. bonus. Yep, yep, exactly. Okay, great.